Hi guys, welcome back to a new WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to set up FTP using Vazilla. And this video is made based on one of our viewers request. And the question would be, why um, do we need FTP? So the purpose of setting this up is that we have full control over WordPress. We can access to all of the WordPress files that are stored on Google Cloud. And in this case, you can see when I navigate to the WP content folder, uh, we can access to the plugins folder, also with the sims folder. Then uh, we can just modify the file uh, based on uh, our preference. And without further ado, let's get started. To start with, first we need to install two software. So first one here is the FileZilla. And to do so, you just go to Google and search for FileZilla as shown here. And then um, you can just click on this uh, download FileZilla client. Okay, so once you're inside the page, just click on this button to download that. And here we have um, three different versions. So the first one should be fine. And this is just come with the menu. And this one here, you have to pay for it. So I'm going to go with the first one, the free. All right, so now it's been downloaded. And just click on this to install as usual. on the agree button just click next 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 all right so now uh, it has really installed and just click this to run that Okay, so here is the uh, Fazila. It's how we install and also open as well. And now let's just go back and try to install another one. Okay, so this time would be the uh, Pudi key generator. So this is the software that uh, we're going to install. And when you search for that on Google, um, the first one uh, should be fine. You can just go with this. So here uh, we need to install this uh, application. Um, the the full version of it, which is the I'm going to show you down here. All right, so it is here. Um, but the instruction here says that uh, if we install like a normal one, the uh, Pudi, the full application, then what you need to do, you need to go to the start menu, all programs, and uh, uh, Pudi, and right here you have to go with the uh, Pudi gen uh, key generator or chain here. But I'm not gonna install like the whole application. Um, I'm going to just install the uh, key generator of the party itself. Okay, so to download that, you just need to go to this link, um, .org, uh, .uk from uh, GreenNet. All right, so now when you're inside this page, just scroll down a little bit, or maybe you can just search for the word key. And all right, so here, this is the one. Now I'm um, using 64-bit uh, of the window OS. So I'm going to go with this or else you can just go with the first one as well. So this one has already downloaded. So I just need to click this to open this application straight away. I don't need to install uh, it just as the one that I show you with this uh, Fazila. Okay, so now once that's done, um, that should be good to go. We are ready to uh, connect to the uh, FTP. All right, so I just closed uh, the two tab. Now uh, we need to generate our key. So to generate, uh, we just need to click on this uh, button, the generate key, uh, the generate button here. So once you click on that, what you need to do, you need to move your mouse over that uh, blank area. And so you can see now we got our own public key. So this is the public key. So we also need to save our private key as well. So to save the private key, just click on this button. And now it asks me whether I want to uh, set up the passphrase for this or maybe like the password to protect it. But then uh, uh, it should be fine. I don't need it at the moment. Just click on the yes button. And I created this uh, folder. You can just name it a whatever you want. Uh, I name it like WordPress uh, party key. So here you just need to give your private key a name. So I'm just going to say pretty 
uh, private key and then save that so it's now saved to that folder and next uh, just keep this uh, as it is for now and now let's just go to your uh, Google Cloud cloud.google.com and click on the console to go to your project cool so now um, I'm inside my projects which is Hongli Tech now just click on the navigation menu and then you can just scroll down until here the compute engines now you need to select the metadata here okay so next step here is to click on the SSH uh, keys just click on that so here it's come with the existing four, uh, four key now you need to basically add the public key here so just click on this uh, edit button add new item right here you need to copy the whole things from this uh, the putty key generator just copy that control C go back just paste it right here okay so once it's paste you can see that the name here it's automatically generated and uh, now let's just click on this uh, save button all right so now we save our uh, own public key inside this uh, Google Cloud project also note that the username here is actually coming from here the key command this is our username okay so now once that's done now open up the Fazila. just uh, click on the edit tab and select the settings okay so now let's navigate to the SFTP and right here you need to add your private key so it's stored on dry D uh, and also inside the WordPress uh, putty key folder now let's just click on this uh, add key file button okay so here's I already inside my um, dry D and this is the folder and now let's just select the private key here open it up okay so now it's already uh, loaded just click on this uh, OK button all right so the next step would be now let's just go back here and click on the VM instances okay so now I'm going to copy my external IP just click on this button to copy to the clipboard now let's open the Fazila again and right here what you need to enter you need to enter sftp colon slash slash and then paste your external uh, IP address here this is the static one and also for the uh, username which is right here just copy this and then paste it right here so once that finished just click on this uh, click connect button just click on this OK and it now trying to access the uh, file the WordPress file so here you can see that we have successfully connected to the uh, WordPress on Google Cloud and now let me just uh, click on this folder to go to the uh, root folder and now I'm going to show you where are all of the uh, WordPress file located and also right now we have a uh, full access we have full control over the WordPress file so we can just uh, do whatever, whatever we want and now let's just scroll down a little bit and looking for the uh, this one here the OTP when you click on that it try to access the folder and right here you just need to navigate to this uh, bitnami folder then uh, next one would be the apps folder okay so once we're in here then uh, we have this one the folder it's called wordpress just uh, double click on this and then next one would be the this one here the ht docs okay so right now you can see that we now access uh, to the uh, WP content or uh, WP it admin includes I'm gonna go with this one the WP content and you can now see that um, right here I can access to my plugins so this one these are uh, all of my plug uh, plugin currently I'm using so this is the plugin and now let me just go back and we also have the access to the sims folder so right here this is uh, I'm using the Ultra and it comes with by default with this uh, three themes and let me just go to the uh, folder 
and then here this is the really simple SSL I also show you in one of my previous video the WordPress tutorial as well and you can see that we now can access to each of the folder so this is the asset uh, this is the image and we can access to each of this uh, uh, PHP file as well so that's now we have the full control the full access as I mentioned to uh, our WordPress folder and we can just modify to whatever, whatever we want and I think um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial we learn how to connect to the uh, file look store on uh, Google Cloud uh, with all of the WordPress files and see you guys in the next video